the destruction of the family, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about that tonight on the report for Tiger Mountain and how it plays into the COVID agenda and how it plays into the idea of a big state. Stick around and listen. Uh, the destruction of the family, you will have noticed, has been a big uh, thing that's gone on, really, probably as long as I've been alive, uh, the nuclear family. Um, you know, it, it's been a slow creep over the years, um, you know, the attempt to destabilise the family unit, and, you know, you often wonder, what is the point of that? But if you actually read your Karl Marx, which not many people do these days, uh, you know, it is a main um, a tenant of, of Marxism to destroy the family, because uh, when you destroy the family, uh, you make uh, the individual... Uh, rely purely on the state and I think you see that going on at the moment you know you see that all the time uh, and also too I mean you know y y we've had a, a great kind of um, you know period of you know like um, uh, where young people have been brought up in single homes and, and um, you know dysfunctional families uh, with you know physical abuse or sexual abuse you see all this kind of stuff and the point of that it seems uh, you know, is to make the individual rely more on the state and you know you see it when you go out and you look at people doing the QR codes you see people with the blue hair and the yellow hair. I mean, something clearly has gone wrong with these, these people to be so so insane. And, and you see them go up to the QR code. It's like they're going up, it's like an act of worship or they're going up to the the good father they never had or the good mother they never had. And they're like, oh, they're checking in and they're, they're so excited. You know what I mean? Like, you know, this is you know, at a psychological level, this is how Marxism kind of operates. Because when you have a dysfunctional family or bad families, um, people turn away from them and they turn to the state uh, and they turn to leaders like, Daniel Andrews, who are going to basically tell them what to do from morning, noon, and night. So, um, you know, I mean, this is a, at a psychological level how Marxist socialism kind of works and how this new totalitarianism has been able to actually kind of, you know, really capture the hearts and minds of many people because people have come from a society that has, um, for 50 years at least, as long as I've been alive, um, attempted to destroy the family. And I think, you know, it's very interesting and it is a main tenet of Marxism, so study your Marx. And, um, you know, it, it creates people who, who are feeble, who, whose lives are meaningless, and who are, who are looking to be dependent on something. So the state comes along and provides their life with meaning and provides them with dictates. And I think that's what we're all about. So, um, you know, at, at the moment, obviously people who, you know, who came from a strong family uh, and, um, you know, um, you know, have a kind of rebellious spirit or value their freedom, you know, don't react well. People like myself don't react well to what's going on. Uh, and, um, you know, obviously we, uh, we are the enemy at the moment to this current agenda, and uh, that's why we're speaking out. So, you know, I just wanted to bring that up. Again, have you thinking about it? Study your Marxism. Look at the tenets that Karl Marx is interested in um, bringing in. I mean, Marxism itself is, is, uh, says it wishes to help people, but it doesn't help anybody. It just makes everybody miserable. It's, just, it's what uh, Wyndham Lewis called the dread leveller. It brings everybody down to a level of misery apart from the small elite which uh, is the Marxist um, leadership uh, and they're the only people who, who do well or have any um, kind of freedom or power so you know it's a terrible situation it's a ruthless system of power and it should be rejected at all levels and I think it should definitely be rejected the way they attack the family so if you want to upset the left-wingers of today um, you know, be a traditionalist, um, you know, have traditional values and uh, be interested in the traditional family because that's a definite fuck you to them. And that's exactly what we should be doing. Thank you for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the report from Tiger Mountain. Cheers.